Well, hello Capricorns. Welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is your second half of June 2018. Um, what the lesson of this journey is going to be through mid-January or June uh, 19th to the end of the month of June 2018. Now I'm going to start out with the Journey of Love deck by Alana Fairchild and I'm just going to ask for an over a big picture. Big picture. I'm getting so many messages all of a sudden. I'm feeling like there's somebody here who is in a partnership or in a connection or in a marriage and they're feeling really good about others that they're connecting out with in their community society um, but there is some sort of uh, decision maybe that they had contemplated when it came to negotiations or a message so for the next week or so after watching this video there is an energy here who has the key to achieve communication negotiations has the ability to come together and connect with someone and discuss maybe marriage or partnership but by the end of June 2018 I feel like there's something that's coming to an end when it comes to a partnership so it could be that there was a business uh, connection and then you guys changed it up and partnered with someone else somehow Capricorns, but it's a quick and sudden change. It kind of leaves you wondering, like, what's going on? Uh, so I'm going to clarify here. I'm pulling a card from the Journey of Love deck to give kind of an overall energy description, okay, for today's or this week's, these couple weeks readings. Whatever I'm trying to say. You guys have the Gifts Received card which is number 13, which is one plus three to me is four, a solid foundation. Something you've been working for is on its way. Therefore, somebody may have to make a change to this commitment, this partnership, this contract, this business in order to move into a new direction. And there may be a little bit of fear because of this new direction, not being part of your life in the past. But Spirit is requesting that you have great hope. There's a gift that is received somehow in the, by the end of June 2018 for you Capricorns. The universe is trying to get something to you, more abundance, more love, and answer to your prayer. Sometimes the healing comes in unexpected packages. Sometimes we try hard to find the answer, exerting so much effort to receive that we make things harder for ourselves than they need to be. So relax, have some fun be at peace at this time everything is working out just fine and there's a nice surprise coming your way the wind blows softly through the grass and my open heart love unexpected well capricorns i am feeling the energy of someone who is in a partnership and there's been communication i think from the capricorn to someone else via social media or however and they're almost like second guessing their partnership that they're currently in um and i don't think that's a good idea i also feel like this person is saying to themselves that the their partner is not being honest with them so all of those questions need to stop there needs to be communication there needs to be clarity here yeah look at with the uh, sacred circle tarot doing a circle spread the card in the center of the reading is representing your current energies here on earth at this time in this moment on your path okay capricorns and with the web energies this means that everything every step every move that people in your web make or that i should say that you make in your web connection to others will affect those around you so it is definitely a time of negotiation it's a time to think about the path you used to walk and how you have been reborn through the old communications, the old experiences in your life. Some of you, not all of you Capricorns, whomever's energies these are, and thank you for clarifying to me that they were your reading. We have a feminine energy with fire in our chart, Sagittarius or Leo, sun, moon, or rising. 
It could be that in your relationship sector, some of you, not all of you, are trying to illuminate something, but you don't want to affect others around you, or you're setting goals in a way by which you can end one path and illuminate a new path, okay? Some of you may be dealing with the fire chart feminine energy. Older? Not so much, though. I'm feeling and looking like it could be in their 20s to 30s. Aries, Sag, or Leo. All right, now, in your creative aspects position, you have the high priest saying you have the ability to recognize the old path, to give yourself a pat on your back for how far you have come. You have the key to negotiations and meetings and successes and new contracts, right? But in your actions position, you've got to be able to let go of old frustrations, old worries, old pain, because it's going to cause you to feel defeated or some sort of movement choice that you make will cause you to feel defeated. Emotionally, Spirit wants you to know that you are definitely dealing with someone who is, they have ulterior motives. Have you learned from the past path or do you have to go and Create a new path with someone and watch it get burnt down again. Sorry, that's what I heard. So in your subconscious, Capricorn, know that you have the warrior energies within you and around you to decide what it is you're going to create in your path ahead and what it is you are not. How it is that your actions are going to affect others around you. Even maybe this fire sign, feminine energy, Sagittarius or Leo. Sun, moon or rising, male or female. In your practical day-to-day -day matters position, we have the two of wands. So Spirit's saying, have the courage. I feel this is more finances, but it could be in a partnership to speak your truth to others, even though it may affect people in a way by which they don't like the new path you're stepping in. Speak your truth and have the courage to claim your own path, to stand by what is most important to you, okay? Now, in your inner strengths position, Spirit is saying, we're going to help you with this major arcana chariot energies to find success in your path ahead. So don't allow for yourself to move too quickly, is what I'm hearing. Because, okay. All right, there's a Capricorn here who's wanting to maybe offer marriage to someone. This could also be climbing into a leadership position, owning your own business, stepping into a new financial or creative path. It could be that you're wanting to come together and create a new path with this fire energy, Sagittarius or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, who's a very high energy, um, creative, fun energy person. But there's discord and suffering here and the need to get grounded because there's been a lot of disillusion about this lady energy. She may be with someone who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Or you guys need to speak your truth. Either way, you're going to recognize in the next week and a half or so, whoever's energies these are, that an ending has indeed come. It was meant to come. It was not built. Something wasn't built on a solid foundation. So in the next two weeks, let go of old energies, focus on those chariot energies of success, try new paths, new ideas, devote yourself to what is most important to you, first and foremost, and I am feeling Capricorn like it has to do with a leadership position or a new position of owning your own business, creating something, and you're the leader. Now here come those, those questions, those fears that I was talking about. It's time to move into a new direction and you become all of who you're supposed to be. The provider, the giver, the carer, taker, the business owner. Some of you may be wanting to come together and co-create with someone who has a great imagination. Maybe they have air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and somebody's wanting to create a solid traditional foundation together. Look at that. But this Capricorn is like, what do I want to offer? Do I give up my bounty? I normally stand and protect and defend, but I know I need to avoid rivalry in order to find happiness in my path. 
so by the end of January 2018 I'm going to recognize that I can indeed step into any direction I so choose all kinds of directions and will eventually with spiritual spiritual guidance and assistance find the success this new portal ahead whereby which I can initiate and create myself there may be some sort of potential when it comes to a passionate connection maybe with that fire sign energy Sagittarius or Leo Sun Moon or rising and they may be able to offer some sort of stability when it comes to love. They could also help for you. No, nope, somebody's bringing that connection to an end and they are going with the air sign. Could even a fire sign going to an air sign. It's like the air sign ended. Somebody's really confused here. All the way from the beginning, I heard I want to have my cake and eat it too. I don't want to get married. I don't want to. And so emotionally, are the underworld energies your energies? Are you going to have the courage to identify, whichever Capricorn this is, your ulterior motives so that you can actually build something successful in your path ahead? It's not about being defeated within your own path. It's about recognizing how you affect others and having the courage to take control over clarity. What is my path when it comes to love, when it comes to work, when it comes to this friendship? What does it look like? Do I want to be in it or not? I feel like a lot of people are going to cut away from it. But in the meantime, use your imagination to bring smiles to all the faces of those around you and to have the courage to think about a new beginning. Maybe not choose a new beginning until maybe early July. Now is a moment of recognizing that one path has ended and now you're being reborn and it's in this new path. You can maintain peace. No worries, no fears, no concerns. You can communicate and set goals. Meet up with maybe a fiery energy and recognize that they are your tribe. They are your connection. Or are they? How is the connection to the fire sign going to affect others? As you're trying to stand strong in your position, one path is ending and creatively all you have to do is celebrate that path and then come to the edge and see what is on offer next in your life. In your actions position, if you've been feeling defeated, it's a time to ask yourself, what is it that keeps me fair and balanced each and every day. My creative project, my financial project, my family, my friends, and the ability to feed myself and put a roof over my head, right? So in your emotional aspects position, there are underworld energies of someone who has deception, someone who has ulterior motives, and spirit is saying to whichever Capricorn this is, it is time to clean up old negative energies tied to negative people, tied to negative thoughts, feelings, and emotions, right? In your subconscious, take time to be strong and slow and use your knowledge like that little owl there, your knowledge and your experience when it comes to co-creating with that leopard, right? Are they gonna be a strong support for you? Are they going to devour your heart and soul completely? In your practical day-to-day -day matters position, it's time to have courage to know that those who have passed before you and who are there for you now, the uh, spirit guides, angels, and the dear Lord in heaven are giving you a leg up to imagine how you want to spin the web of your life as you recognize that one path is ending and another is beginning. As you come to the edge and you look at the path and figure out how can I be and feel peaceful, playful, and balanced in my life at this time. In your inner strengths position, remember, spirit saying, as you take steps into new directions, even if you're not which, sure which way you're going to go, the chariot energies are a major arcana and spirit is helping then to guide you into the right direction. And you're going to recognize a change in the wind. 
maybe by the 3rd of July, where you start to sit in a position of joy, happiness, celebration, contentment, and balance. What makes you happy? What does your story look like? And how do you need to adjust your path to fill this cup? Take some time to breathe this week. Focus on joy. Spirit is working on your behalf with divine guidance and timing. But they're saying something needs to be done by the book. Do as Jesus would do. There's no place like home. And you may be coming to a fork in the road when it comes to what you believe may be a soulmate connection. But a message will come by the end of July that will help to end old energies of chaos and conflict. The truth will come and will set you free. <coughs> but you're going to learn about some of that this week. Keep your heart open to other opportunities, offers, and or ideas. Some of you may finally connect with someone who does have fire in her chart. Sag Aries or Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising. I guess it's male or female is the grass greener when you go over there. Take some time to think things through and to heal from that old path first before committing completely by the end of June, early January. Messages will come from another person that are kind, maybe even gifts. Spirit saying, remember, all that glitters is not gold. It's about offering your loyal heart in a loyal way to maintain happiness in your life. And if you do so, as you plant new seeds and new ideas for yourself, remain flexible. Watch people come and go that are fated to come into connection with you. And be okay with all of how things are transpiring in your family, home life, and friends. It's definitely a time to focus on financial abundance and a solid foundation beneath you, within you. And for some of you, they're saying, if you haven't received a message back from someone, come to a positive note, a positive ending in your thoughts and understanding that this soul just was not right for you. It's the lesson that you learn that will make you a strong enough person to be blessed with a path like your new thoughts, a new path, a new beginning, peace in your life. And remember, Spirit's giving you a leg up right now in the next couple weeks to recognize a new path, a new beginning for yourself, knowing that you have the strength to find success, happiness, and joy within, and that you'll recognize it when your actions go from fight or flight to I am going to sit back, use my imagination, find joy in my life, watch people come and go, but not be afraid to step into new and exciting directions for myself. Now before your reading, I pulled a card from the Wisdom of the Hidden Realms deck by Colette Baron reed and you guys receive the eyes of beauty. Now this is number 25. So this is a very spiritual time. A time whereby there may be some difficult decisions to make. But Spirit's asking that you make these decisions with positive expectations. Spend the rest of June 2018 doing research and finding the clarity you need so that you don't have to sit in energies of contemplation any longer. To close, I'm going to read from the book to give credit to Colette Baron reed When the eyes of beauty show up as your ally, they require you to examine your perceptions. Do you see the world is perfect and beautiful? Can you retrace your steps from your past to now and see the perfection in the way reality has actually been created? Truly, perception is everything. A glass half empty is the same as a glass half full, yet so different according to how it's perceived. 
The eyes of beauty remind you that if you move forward with conviction, all is well now and always will be. You will see true prosperity as a result of this journey. Expect to see beauty and you will attract your highest good. So at this time, release your expectations and demands and be with the truth of the way things are now. You're whole and beautiful and perfect and what you observe is too. It may not be exactly what you want, but perhaps in shifting your vision, you will find clarity and will see that it's exactly what you need at this time. A total shift in perception is what is required now. So it's a time to really think about the old chapter, your old walks, old connections with others. What did each of those connections and experiences teach you about who you are now? And how are you going to take that knowledge and experience and move into a new beginning and make the right decisions so that you don't have to go around and down a good seven to nine month path, a year path from this point on? So it is an important time for you guys really to focus on happiness, joy, healing, and knowing exactly the clarity of your perceptions. Write it down if you have to. My next story looks like this. I'm working on that. I'm handing my prayers to spirit about love. In fact, I just got drawn to pull a few cards for love. Capricorn, last couple months of June 2018, please. Love and Romance Energies. Yeah, someone here, like, there's wild abandon in hopes that there is a soulmate connection here. But temptation is in your thoughts. And when this card shows up, that means that's where it'll always remain. And this is what I'm talking about, Spirit saying, how teachable are you guys? Are you going to go around and around with this wild abandon hoping for a soulmate? Or are you going to unleash your creativity and avoid energies of self-sabotage in your future? Now is a time to come close together with those who are like your family and tribe. Pay attention to the signs as you move into your future. Are you proud of who you are? Or are you allowing your ego to draw you into the energies of selling out? It's time to take this little person, clean her up, get her a haircut, teach her how to fill out a job application, show her how to work and get her own place, and tell her that she will always stand strong independently in her own path. She gets to choose who comes and goes. Someone needs to trust in spirit at this time, that love, they need to forget old energies of rejection, and know that love is a spiritual blessing. It is not something we can control and manifest. It's something that as we walk our path clearly and know what we want and pray to spirit for exactly what it is we want and then letting go of our worries and getting back into our own path, trusting that spirit will bring the right person in for you guys. So I feel like if somebody's thinking about signing a new contract and you're single, you could be moving in a new direction by which you could meet a new person, but you're going to have to let go of everything. I feel like this communication and this success is something you should do. If there's a move here to a new business, new location, new uh, creating a new project, connecting with a new client, yes, don't be afraid. Push past your fears. Write down what your fears are. Cross off my fears are and say my goals and intentions are, and then replace each of those fears with a new exciting goal so that you can succeed and know where it is you're going instead of sit stagnant and be confused right thank you so much for stopping by if you'd like me to pull your personal energies i'm available at my email which is josiek42 at gmail.com and the prices are listed below take care and god bless <music>